All right, Coach. It's been a chaotic last 24, 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> just, let's talk about it. Let's start with yesterday and then finish up today. Well, I thought uh, even though we got down in yesterday's ball game, the club responded well today. You know, in game one, Morehouse jumps up, Morehouse jumps up there and it's a leadoff double, you know, to get things started for us. We had a lot of opportunities to win that first game. Couldn't push it across, but eventually did. So I was really proud of the club for battling and coming away with a W there. You know, same game tonight, I mean, we're one pitch away from getting out of that tough inning. So, you know, something I talk to the team about all the time, it's, one, it's a game you have to play at one pitch at a time. You can't let off on any pitches. And we had situations where we let up on a pitch here and there, they hammered it. Um, you know, we paid for it, but you got to tip their hat to them a little bit. I didn't think we lost the game. I thought they beat us, you know, and uh, I have a big issue with it when we lose games and do, do things that aren't smart, but, you know, Tulane learned, too learned everything they got tonight. You've been, talked all season about consistency and hopefully, man, uh, trying, to get, trying to get to that point is where you, you're looking at for this team and all this. Well, we're playing better. You know, the last couple of weeks we played better, played really, played Rice really tough over there, got a win. Played, we actually played really good baseball against Tulane. We just, you know, need a big hit here and there. But we've, you know, our defense has gotten a lot better. We've pitched, we've started pitching the ball. So, hope that the club understands that if you pitch and play defense, you're going to be in every game, and that's how what the case has been lately for us. What is this set up for tomorrow? Well, I mean, it, you know, the past is, you know, the past never equals the future, and you know, the kids. I'll wear this a lot harder than the kids do. <laughs> that's usually the way it is. Um, they'll come out tomorrow with this clean slate and be ready to roll. Uh, yesterday, as well. The extension of today's game, it was pretty much two pitches, in the, if I'm correct, as far as finishing, starting yesterday and then finishing up the first game. It's two innings away, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. T tonight's, half, tonight's game, it was pretty much as much help as you could get. Where, where will that leave you tomorrow with, with, uh, with Well, we got plenty of guys in the bullpen. We really haven't used a whole lot of pitching. You know, we've still got our entire bullpen. Um, you know, to choose from other than Jared Ray, who's not available, but we got a lot of pitching left down there. Right. Todd, uh, first, uh, talk about the battle mentally there in the ninth. I know, obviously, it's a struggle last week. You, you know, yet you, you came and got Jordan, and obviously, I'm sure it was a little bit of a tough decision there in the end. But you know, with, just talk a little bit about just uh, that struggle, you know, between leaving the game in his hands and, and going. Well, I, I have enough history with him to know when it's time to get him out of the game. You know, whether it's wrong, right, or wrong decision. You know, at that time, it wasn't the right decision. You know, the next guy, Schaefer, comes up and flies out the left field. And to be honest with you, some of that decision is based on, too, Brian Virginia has got to grow up. He needs to be in that situation. We're going to need him at the end of the season. We're going to need him next year out of the bullpen. I have big plans for Ryan Virginia. And, you know, not that I <laughs> intentionally let the game go, but I've been looking for a reason to get him in the game in that situation and see how he responded. And the thing I'm happy with Virginia is he didn't walk the guy. You know, opponents are hitting like one something off of my thing. So that. That I never expected to happen for him to give up a double because he hadn't, he hadn't given up a hard hit all season long. So that that caught me off guard a little bit. I was more worried about him throwing strikes. I encourage you to see two consecutive quality outings.